There's nothing I like more than to see my hometown packed to the rafters with people on a nice bank holiday Monday like we had yesterday. But please, have some respect, will you? How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday afternoon. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, getting towards the end of the day now. I tell you, yesterday, absolutely brilliant in Margate. It was absolutely flooded with people everywhere. You had bikers, you had beachgoers, you had people coming down from London to go and uh, soak up some of the sun and all the locals were out having a walk. I went out myself with uh, my mum, my wife and one of my children for an ice cream, which is very nice. And it was absolutely brilliant. Down in Margate, we've got uh, quite a nice seafront area now. And uh, we've got our local lifeboat station uh, down there as well. Check this out that I'll show you now. Right, that's Margate seafront right over there in the distance. And I'm sat over by our harbour. And this thing here is the Turner Centre. I'm sure you've heard of that in the press uh, Tracy Enham has been associated with the place for quite a while and right over there just in the distance zoom in a little bit you've got the local RNLI station uh, where the lifeboat is well lifeboat stations need very very vital things and one of them is a clear path down to the sea so they can launch their boat to go and help people or their latest job of uh, escorting individuals across halfway from the channel into Dover and wherever else they may go. But the long and short of it is they need clear space. We had a load of bikers down here uh, this afternoon. Uh, I think they call it Go Wild or something like that. There's absolutely bloody hundreds of them everywhere. And look at the scene down here earlier on this afternoon. Yes, all parked up outside the RNLI uh, hut, office, building, totally obstructing the entrance for the lifeboat to get out. What if somebody got in trouble? What if a boat was sinking, somebody drowning, somebody needed help quick? How the hell are they going to get their boat out if all those bikes are in the way, obstructing the exit? It's all clearly marked down there as well. No, no entry you know, to this area, keep it clear at all times. They need a clear path down to the slipway in the harbour. The law, quite simply, in my opinion, doesn't, you know, punish people like this enough. I think all of them bikes should have been confiscated. I mean, that's very, very serious. They should have been heavily fined in return for getting them back. That's what I think. Total disregard for public safety, no respect whatsoever and it really needs to stop. We get this year on year, people sitting down here and blockading the uh, exit way for the RNLI every single time. And all they do is paint pretty lines on the road and say, please do not park here. Every fucker and his dog ignores it. And the problem carries on and on and on. I'm sorry, but you need to get harsh. If you park here, you'll lose your vehicle. Speaking of which, I'm off before I lose mine too. This is the Gabby Cabby signing off to Lou.